Renew stands for Respect, Educate, Nurture and Empower Women in Bhutan. It was founded by Her Majesty the Queen Mother, Sangye Churin Wangchu, in 2004. Renew provides free counseling services for family members affected by domestic violence or gender-based violence throughout the country. To talk more about counseling, we have with us the Executive Director of Renew, Sring Dolkar. To begin with, uh, tell us briefly about Renew. Okay. Um, before I begin, Sonam, thank you very much for uh, having me here. And uh, also, um, uh, since you have already introduced Renew, uh, I would like to add, saying that uh, Her Majesty Gelyum Sangye Chudun Wongchuk, who is the patron and founder of Renew, is also the champion for uh, sexual reproductive health in the region. And Her Majesty um, is very compassionately um, involved in uh, creating awareness on mental health uh, counseling services. That's why uh, one of the core uh, services that Renew provides is uh, counseling services to uh, women, children, girls, and also which involves families uh, you know, who, who need counseling services. Tell us the type of counseling services provided by Renew now. Uh, there are uh, different types of counseling uh, that a person or uh, you know communities or people need. Uh, from there, uh, Renew provides and Renew focuses on providing counseling in domestic violence, gender-based violence, and uh, and also on child uh, sexual abuse. And uh, other than that, since uh, Renew is uh, an organization which uh, caters towards family. We also have family counseling, couple counseling, and uh, it's, it's also uh, provided through individuals and groups. So in mm -hmm. case we have some viewers who wants to uh, avail this facilities, uh, counseling facilities, how do they contact Renew now? Well, uh, we have a number uh, uh, which people can call on. It's a one seven one two six three five three. Either through phone, or either through walk-in, or either through uh, referrals. You know, and uh, our uh, phone numbers, the office phone numbers are on the website, and uh, we also have uh, volunteers in twenty districts, and uh, through the volunteers also, you know, people can contact Renew. And um, this is particularly important uh, since uh, counseling can uh, do magic to, uh, to people who may need it. When, uh, when it comes to counseling, most Bhutanese are skeptical. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you could tell us why is counseling one of the important aspects of recovery and healing? Very true. You know, uh, people are uh, skeptical about uh, counseling. That's because they do not understand the benefit of counseling services. Counseling uh, is an uh, emerging profession in Bhutan. In other countries, in developed countries, this is established and evolving. But in Bhutan, it's emerging at the moment. And it was only in 1996, uh, through the royal degree of His Majesty the Fort Duke Kelpo, that counseling came into Bhutan. You know, through the uh, through the school system, and uh, now we have it uh, very well uh, developed, and uh, the services are available, and um, people need to be aware that uh, counseling services can help them in uh, overcoming many of their uh, uh, confusions, their fears. Uh, it can also um, clarify a lot of doubts, it can give you confidence, you know, it can build up your self-esteem uh, and uh, it can also uh, make you, you know, um, productive at the end of the day. So uh, that's why I think uh, counselling must be looked upon as a very important emerging uh, service 
and support that uh, may help, especially at this moment when mental health issues are increasing in our country. And uh, you might have had cases where uh, people came for counseling and maybe they didn't continue. And I'm sure you might also have cases where people had successfully completed counseling. Mm -hmm. So if you could share with us uh, some success stories also. I would also like to add, uh, add uh, by saying that counseling is a, a talk therapy and it has a lot of benefits. You know, um, especially if you are, you know, not feeling good. If you are um, uh, feeling very agitated, if you are feeling very lonely uh, or, you know, rejected, you, uh, if you talk to somebody, very important to open up and talk to somebody because now times have changed. In the past olden days, we had, a, we as Bhutanese people, we had a lot of resilience. But now times have changed. Our children are raised up in a very vulnerable uh, environment. A lot of you know, in a lot of families, educated families, have raised their children in a very um, uh, in a very protective environment. You know, they have not been exposed to hardships. So therefore, it's only um, possible that our children can be very vulnerable to many hardships that they haven't faced. So when you face a lot of uh, um, issues and hardships in life and you are not able to cope up with, there are a lot of feelings, you know, and emotions that may, that uh, one may go through. So therefore, I think um, at that time, uh, our uh, children, our uh, young people need a lot of guidance, a lot of uh, support. And uh, especially if you talk about a case, uh, recently I had a young girl who uh, was very suicidal and then when we started talking, I came to know that she had, you know, she was abused when she was uh, very young and uh, this was uh, not helping her move on in her life and especially trusting another person. So then when you start talking and then you unreveal, you know, in, in a way counseling means unrevealing the package, you know, and suddenly you find at the end of the at, uh, at package, you can find gold there, you know. You come to uh, know yourself, you come to know uh, the, um, uh, the, the importance of your existence and how to really, you know, then uh, move along. So I think uh, it is, in a nutshell, it is the need of the hour. And if anybody is feeling, you know, uh, not yourself today, I think uh, if you talk to somebody, uh, I think you will get what you want. Recently, I interviewed a 17-year-old writer who shared uh, that she has so many friends who are uh, going through mental health issues. And then uh, it seems like I have spoken with uh, so many young artists as well. So when I interview, I, I kind of notice that uh, mental health issues seems to be quite common. Mm -hmm. So and then it's kind of good also that they are willing to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So is there any initiative from Renewla to create awareness la, on mental health? Um, that's a very important question. And then, uh, yes, I did uh, watch your show with this uh, young girl, Tenzin uh, Dressel. And I, I, it was indeed a brilliant uh, interview. And uh, she talks about a lot of mental health issues her friends are going through. And that is one way of creating awareness. And um, I personally uh, feel that, you know, such, uh, such more um, um, opening, you know, our young people opening up to their own uh, um, issues, you know, that they have gone through would help other people, you know. So uh, from Renew side, uh, Her Majesty uh, Gilliam Sangye Chujin Wongchuk uh, has uh, established the Bhutan Board for Certified Counselors to train, you know, and uh, not only train, but also to certify uh, uh, counselors through uh, developing professional standards, you know. So through this uh, board of counselors, we are, uh, uh, moving on to creating a lot of uh, 
um, awareness on uh, counseling services and uh, especially for those ones who are uh, undergoing mental stress and mental distress because uh, once it comes to mental illness then the only help that you can get is treatment you go to the psychiatrist you know until then until mental distress there are ways interventions that you may you may uh, be you know able to help through many other therapeutic uh, therapeutic interventions but uh, if it crosses that then it becomes illness and you need to go therefore i think we need to have uh, a lot of uh, uh, professional counselors psychologists and social workers who will be able to assist the psychiatrist in helping you know detect mental health issues and and people who are going through distress early you know so that so that uh, they do not need to undergo treatment right i think most of us are a little uh, confused la, between mentally distressed and uh, mental illness mm -hmm. so if you could a little uh, tell us uh, the difference la, between uh, the mm -hmm. two well uh, it has a very thin borderline although although you know some psychiatrists may say that uh, distress and illness may be the same but uh, from our uh, point of view like uh, um, uh, mental health counselors you know we believe that distress there's a uh, there's a difference between distress and illness distress is when you uh, have symptoms of you know mental health uh, issues and uh, you are not able to cope up with your day to day functions and uh, you know you you need help you know but uh, when it crosses that if you do not uh, uh, if you are not able to really identify recognize uh, the distress and uh, let it be you know without uh, addressing it then it can go into full blown illness and that's where you can be hospitalized that's where you need to be put on medication and uh, then you know then uh, it's a different story the media in bhutan has covered there has been increasing cases of uh, sexual abuses la, also even uh, with minors la. Mm -hmm. so this also leads to mental health problems mm -hmm. more in the long run mm -hmm. and there's uh, increasing cases of domestic violence also la, mm -hmm. especially because of the pandemic and the lockdowns mm -hmm. so as we say there's increasing number of uh, mental health issues mola is there uh, do we have enough counselors in the country la? well um, ever since uh, the bhutan board for certified uh, counselors was established in 2015 september uh, we have been able to um, certify uh, 277 counselors in different categories you know we have uh, uh four levels of categories of counselors one is the peer counselor the peer counselors are the ones who do not have a degree but they have a training and we have 66 of them there and uh, we have associate counselors they these are the ones who are trained who are trained who have a degree who have undergone formal education you know so that we have uh, such counselors we have over uh, 200 and we have uh, the master category and the supervisor category who have a master's degree and also uh, some of them may have phd's also so these are the categories of counselors so i think uh, the other day where the council or the butinis had said that only 5% of the counselors uh, have degree in counseling is not correct while providing counseling services now what are the basic challenges faced by renewla Uh, maybe uh, the counselors as well well uh, since this is still an emerging uh, profession and people have misunderstood it you know um, we have we are struggling with uh, still making people understand that uh, the, the importance of counseling people have this mentality mindset you know uh, saying that if you go to counselors then you are uh, you are uh, not all right you know right. yeah yes. there's some problems you know counseling can be you know the, their categories you know counseling can be preventive counseling can be uh, intervention counseling can be rehabilitation you know so anyone who goes to a see a counselor does not need to have a problem they can go there to you know consult discuss be more clear of their objectives 
their goal, their vision, you know. Not everybody has the time to give you, you know, that, that time to really talk to you. So it is the counselors who can, because by nature it is their profession, you know, that they have to do so. And counselors are guided by uh, ethical standards and principles, you know, that they have to adhere to. So therefore, you know, this is their job and they will uh, hopefully do it correctly. Most of us actually, they have this misconception that uh, once you, uh, that just going once will uh, help you heal or recover. So how uh, does the counselor make sure the clients uh, come back again? Well, uh, as I told you earlier, it's a process, it has a process and procedures, you know, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, it can be very short, the counseling sessions, you know, within one session you can terminate, but sometimes, you know, it has to go on because, uh, uh, there, you, you know, there are many, uh, many issues, underlying issues, as you, re, uh, as, you, as you open up the box, you know, you, you will see many, many uh, reasons to go on. So then you have to explain to the, to the client that, you know, or to somebody who's seeking counseling that, you know, how many sessions it may take. So it is the duty of the counselor to, to really um, explain the procedure before you go into, uh, 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 you know, partnership. I also uh, read recently in one of the papers, I think uh, the counselor shared that it is very difficult to gain trust of the clients. Mm -hmm. So are there some other challenges as well, yeah, uh, as well uh, like this? Well, I think uh, one challenge that I've seen all through my uh, numerous years of uh, being in this profession is uh, an issue of uh, confidentiality. Because our uh, society, Bhutanese society, is very small, very close-knit. Everybody knows everybody. So there is a hesitation, you know, for people to come up and open to you. And uh, mm, therefore, I think uh, that is one of the challenge. However, building trust and rapport is in the hands of the counselor. You know, I, I, I don't see it as a challenge. I see it as an experience. You know, the, the counselor, if you are an experienced counselor, and if you know what you're doing, building rapport is a process. You know, when in the, in the partnership, you know, or in the consultation that we are having, throughout the process, there is a, a um, way of building rapport and understanding between the client and the counselor. And uh, we, when we talk about uh, victims of domestic violence, uh, we uh, usually talk about women, la, but I believe there are cases of men as well, la, as reported in the media as well. So how are there uh, men also la, seeking uh, help la, on counseling? La, oh, you? yes. <laughs> uh, men usually don't come forward because I think uh, uh, it's something to do with their own ego. However, I think uh, lately a uh, couple of men have started coming even if they don't come, they call, you know. So in our record, we have from January till uh, July, we have 40 men who have come uh, seeking for support. So it's not true that men uh, do not come forward. They do come forward when they are desperate. And uh, since I believe there is no survey done well, on mental health issues, mm -hmm. so but generally, uh, as per your observation, are there more uh, women or men? Uh, girls or boys uh, uh, seeking help for mental health counseling? Well, at Renew's experience, there are more uh, women, you know, and also um, we have uh, young girls, you know, who uh, uh, with teenage pregnancies, you know, coming in for uh, counseling services. But generally, it's more women because they are the ones who are being uh, either abused or harassed or, you know, has some. Uh, mental health issues which is related to domestic violence and gender-based violence. So I would say that more women are there, but I think uh, uh, more, uh, I, when you go to schools, you know, to talk to the students, you find, you know, there are more girls also going through some kind of issues. And I think that those are dealt by school counselors, you know, effectively. 
And when we uh, say mental health issues, Mula, we usually think it's uh, youth and uh, younger people generation. But uh, I uh, was going, uh, doing some research online and I see that uh, mental health is uh, equally common among the older generations, la, like in their 50s and 60s la, uh, in the Western countries, la, they talk openly about it. So are there uh, older people as well seeking help from Renew? La? Yes, la, we, have, uh, we have all kinds of uh, age range coming for support. And uh, older uh, people more, you know, they come, you know, basically uh, because their children bring them to, you know, seeking help, asking that my parents are like this, you know, they go through this kind of thing. And when we really assess, it's more related to health, their health uh, conditions, so we refer them to the hospital. As we end our program, uh, what will be your advice for our viewers? Well, uh, I would like to convey that uh, mental health issues, um, Anyone can go through mental health issues at any time. If you are one who is undergoing uh, mental health issues, it's, I think, perfectly all right to be not all right, you know, and to know that there is help over there. And uh, it's also uh, important to, to know that, uh, that uh, if you have mental health issues, this is not a sign of you being weak or abnormal. This is just a condition or a situation where you are not able to uh, cope up with some of the issues that, that you are going through. You know? And uh, the fact that uh, you are able to um, understand it, recognize it, and being able to seek help in itself is a uh, the medicine, you know, because if you do not talk about it, no one will know about it. If you confine your thoughts and feelings to yourself, it is like a growing cancer, you know, it can grow and one day, you know, it, when it is out of your control, then, you know, you are the one who will be suffering. So it's rather, you know, you understand it and seek help. And also one very important message I want to convey today is mental health issues is not only because of uh, many uh, uh, family problems or you being uh, not um, uh, what able, it's not because of that. Sometimes, you know, our body conditions, uh, you know, the vitamin D in your body can also cause many uh, mental health uh, uh, issues in you, I'm, I'm one of them, you know, because of my um, uh, low vitamin D, it caused me a lot of stress. And also I felt that, you know, my hair was, uh, my hair was falling. And also uh, I felt, you know, because I know about the disease, I felt I was going into depression. And when I went to the psychiatrist uh, and the hospital, I found out that my, it was due to my vitamin D. And uh, vitamin D can cause a lot of uh, uh, nuisance to your, uh, you know, your uh, mental health. So please, if you are suffering from any of this, the first thing I would advise is to go and check your vitamin D and other minerals and uh, vitamins. So um, then after that, you know, then you can go and if it's not related to uh, the conditions of your body, then you can seek for other professional help. Thank you. Thank you, Lamem. Thank you so much for your time mm -hmm. and uh, sharing your uh, personal experience also with us.